<laughs> Someone may ask you to eat some and then die. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. You make a bad business deal, it comes on the end of a stick. <laughs> what a treat. But hang on to that stick because it might help you paddle up the creek that's yep. named after it. Uh, <laughs> if you're really angry, you might kick it out of somebody, uh -huh. uh, at the very least scare it out of them. And if you do that, it might come out in the form of a brick. Um, <laughs> you might get caught in a storm of it, especially if it just hit the fan. Uh, the weather outside could be cold as it. A lot of girls I've met are hotter than it. <laughs> I know a guy who has it for a last name, but I won't bother mentioning him because most people don't know Jack. So <laughs> it happens frequently. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> hey, I get a horn. Awesome. He Mario to Giorgio. Horn. Also with us in the studio, Matt Fulcheron. Let's see. We know Matt, skateboarder. Let's, I don't know anything about you. Married or single? Oh, I'm really single, man. Okay. Uh, well, if you if your listeners read People Magazine, they probably already know that. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you in People Magazine? <laughs> no, it's a hilarious joke. I'm a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I actually, uh, <laughs> you guys get it? You get the joke? Oh, I, I uh, do right, now. <laughs> You might have heard a dial tone. Uh, uh -huh. That the first joke was off the hook. Uh, <laughs> you get that one. You get that, that one. That's the there we go. Joke. It's the Bob and Tom Show. The following is a paid commercial announcement for the Joe Johnson Memory System. Hello, I'm Joe Jefferson. Do you forget <laughs> things you wish you could remember? <laughs> Do you forget people's names? Do you forget important dates? Do you forget information that's important to remember? Like important dates. <laughs> or perhaps you even forget people's names. <laughs> That's why I created my new memory system called the Joe Jackson Memory System. <laughs> With the Jeff Jackson Memory System, you'll be able to remember long lists of items in great detail. Uh -huh. Does it work? <laughs> Just listen to these testimonials. I used to forget things all the time. You know, little things like where my car keys were. What I was supposed to pick up at the store. Where my car keys were. You know, things like that. And then I tried the Jerry Johnson memory system. And now I can even remember the names of everyone in my household. Thanks, Jack. Man, my memory was the worst. I couldn't even remember what I heard just a couple of minutes ago. And then I tried the John Johnson memory system. And wow, what a difference. My memory used to be the worst. Do you know there was a time when I couldn't even remember what I heard just a couple of minutes ago? <laughs> Thanks, Jerome. Yes, with the Johnny Jasper memory system, you'll never forget anything important ever again. To order this Jake Jensen memory system, just call 1-888. That's 1-800. Again, 1-877-5. Uh, no, uh, uh, one 5 or no, it's uh, an <laughs> 800 number. <laughs> oh, yes, that's 1 888 352 4 QML. The Jackie Jackson memory system costs only $19.95. That's right, just $29.95. Call today and we'll also include, at no extra charge, a notepad that you can use to write things down. <laughs> You'll get the Junior Johnson memory system and the notepad all for just $39.95. Call and give your credit card and ATM number to our operators today. And what's the first thing you want to do tomorrow? That's right. Call and give our operators your credit card. <laughs> and don't forget to do what it was that I told you to do earlier involving the thing I was talking about. Your memory will improve, or my name isn't Jim Johansson. Okay, Mr. Jenkins, that's a take. Good. I've got kind of a busy day ahead of me. I, I have to go record a commercial for my memory system. <laughs> that's the first time I've ever heard that. It works. Well, it, it used to be a lot funnier when I didn't have a memory problem. <laughs> your name again? Exactly. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's the Bob and Tom Show. Whoa, whoa. 
June 23rd, 2020, the semi-quarantine continues. Hi, Tom. Doing all right. How about you? Good. Christy. Hey, Chick. Josh. Hey, Chicky. Willie. Hey, Chick. Willie Griswold. Over there lurking in the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> Are you responsible for that thing in the garage? Uh, what thing in the garage? You'll hear. I th- uh, we'll get, I, you'll I thought you were going to say that oh. thing in the bathroom. No. <laughs> Willie's staying in, it's actually sleeping in his sister's room. Because you're in his room. Hey, it's my office now, all right? <laughs> this is fun. But I think stuff. we're all overlooking the fly in the ointment. You mean Pat Godwin in the white shirt? <laughs> oh, and, and then Willie's house. Hey, Pat. I, Hi, uh, Ace. How are you? Jig. There's Pat Godwin. Hi, Jig. There he is. There he is. Here we go. In a crisp white shirt. Yeah, yeah, looking good. White shirt in the summer, yeah. You know something? I feel like a song already, Pat. What? Yeah, hit you, it. Hit it, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woo! I mean, I'll give you a couple minutes to get ready. Oh, jeez. But, uh, it's since, your pick. Since you're wearing white. Guitar or pick. keyboard. <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah. Guitar or keyboard. It's up to you. Uh, perhaps right. you can get Ace uh, uh, over there to play the kazoo. Um, uh, Dean, perhaps, <laughs> on the banjo. Uh, you're wearing white, and it reminds am, me of yeah. a white claw. The, oh, jeez. Uh, the new um, drink, apparently. The V new drink, right? Uh, really, this is the big drink now with the youth? If, if you it's, pr- it's pretty yeah. popular. A yeah. lot of people drink it before they go to the bars. And I, I think Karen's drink it, too, don't Exactly. Yeah. It's big with yes. the yoga pants crowd. Sure. Yeah. And I, by the, I would like to weigh in. Yoga pants, I'm a big fan. Oh, yeah? Sure. Yeah. sure. Keep, keep them coming, ladies. <laughs> well, I think after said... <laughs> quarantine, I don't think you're going to... I bet the G... I'd like to see the G numbers, because I don't think people are going back. Everybody's going to be wearing yoga pants forever. They're more comfortable. I mean, I've had... This this whole Corona thing, I've had a huge change in my life. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm wearing a different pair of shoes. Man, oh, man. oh yeah, we got to get to that. That I've was been, crazy. I've been wearing the same shoes for three years. Yeah, literally. Just I think longer than that because I saw a video <laughs> yesterday of you, and I swear you were wearing. Yeah, the I same stopped. Pair I stopped shoes. wearing <laughs> athletic shoes a few years ago. I just got tired. I wanted to wear. Yeah. Well, those shoes. ones you, uh, those same pair that you wore for two years, had to be getting a little gummy, right? I, I've got. I bought a second pair. They're identical. Oh, okay. But right. thank you for the shoes. Chick got me a pair of these Air Birds. I did all all, <laughs> birds. Birds. all. all birds. Did you wear them home yesterday? Yeah, I've been. I got them on right now. Okay. Now, but, what were but the there was you? an incident. What? what? Which I'll get to in a second. Pat, okay. you know what I'm talking about? The song wise. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Now you've uh, <laughs> you, you got a new thing going. You you have kind of a mustache look. You've got uh, your it's hair great, yeah. real short. Mm-hmm. Did a nice dye job on it. Saturday, yeah. Um, but we were talking about this... Um, Saturday takes a bath White and claw pizza. <laughs> what is it again, Christy? Someone... Yeah, Blaze Pizzas. Uh, there were a few locations, I think 40 around the country, did a mango white claw crust for one day. It was a special one-off for pizza. And uh, you could... They suggested pineapple, and oh, I can't remember all the other God, toppings. God, they shouldn't be allowed but... to call it pizza. <laughs> Can we get the federal authorities in on this? Are they busy right now? Uh, yeah, they're a little busy. <laughs> they got some things on their plate. Uh, 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 to be fair, they did. The FBI got anything to do. <laughs> they just did this for one day, and you're the one that's still talking about it. They weren't trying to shove it in your face. But no, so tell me what the Listen white claw is. Listen to Willie. That's my boy. The white claw is a heart. Yelling at his dad. It was a one day limited time thing. You're the one still talking about it. I'm, I'm fine because it sets up a song, Willie. Don't you know how this works? Thanks, thanks. No, Chris, I'm, 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 I find it morally outrageous that people can put, uh, put a pineapple on pizza and still call it pizza. It's a, you know, freedom's important, but not when it comes to this sort of thing. White Claw is like a hard spritzer. It's, uh, I mean, a hard seltzer. Okay. It's um, hey man, flavored in a lot of fruity flavors. Freedom's and just another word for nothing left to lose, man. And do you know what we missed yesterday? What? Yeah, I think. Chris it was Christopherson's uh, birthday. Yeah. Right? yeah, was it Chris's birthday? Is yeah. he 80? I think he is. He looks it. The great songwriter, very fine actor. Um, So, uh, Pat, you have uh, taken a... A great song from Cream, and as you pointed out yesterday, you and I actually flew to London for one day to watch the Cream reunion. Well, I am going to take it a step further, and uh, this will be a dedication, a tribute uh, to Saturday, my lovely Saturday, where I got the uh, Media Mash, mash Brown out, actually, and okay. I just had nice. a blast at uh, the... I'm staying at your place, which is actually Willie's place, so uh, here we go. Oh, really? It has a long intro, <laughs> so hang in there, Tom. Oh, it does have a long intro. <laughs> Over a white sink with black hair dye, I am spilling. (laughs) Tom is calling, ask what I'm doing. I say nothing. (laughs) Salmon's burning, I am rinsing, colors dripping. 
curtains ruined, bathtub blackened. <laughs> I got kicked out of Willie's place <laughs> Where the songs I did write <laughs> Out on the street But at least my hair isn't white <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry I was so critical about the story. It was worth it. That was there is there. White Claw in my pizza. <laughs> Different song. <laughs> One <laughs> So let me get this straight. You're in Willie's house. Yes, ma'am. Yet Willie is at Tom's house. I don't think he's allowed not, near me. Not in we'll Willie's see. room. Willie's living in Chicago. Right. He's no, he's not. not. He's right here. He's been yeah. here for weeks. It's very complicated. Am I helping? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Pat's temporarily staying there. And then, uh, so Willie's been staying in his, actually his sister's room at our house because his room was converted into your office. Yeah, we got one of those talking mirrors in there. We took the bed <laughs> out. <laughs> wait, a wait, 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 talking wait, mirrors. Wait, 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 are you Snow White? Is it the workout system? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's like a workout system uh, chain. Those are cool. <laughs> this is the most unbelievable thing you've ever seen. Oh, it's yeah. called the mirror. It's yeah. this vertical yeah. mirror that hangs in the wall. It's like six feet by three feet. Yeah, yeah. it's wild. I'm going to figure out how to use it. I'm going to get ripped this summer, chick. Oh, yeah, go, I'm going to get jacked. Plug a phone into it. All of a sudden, there's some lady yelling at you. So it sounds like you're not going back to Chicago. No, and I like it when ladies yell at me too. So this is going to be good oh. for me. I'm going to get jacked. <laughs> we'll throw some. Get used around. to it. So anyway, there's the so the bed's gone. So that room has my uh, the old front door that I turned into a desk and my computer. And then uh, so <laughs> Willie's sleeping in Sally's okay. room. It's complicated. If you were in a movie and you were watching it, you wouldn't believe your character. Yes, <laughs> I've said it before. I'll say it again. So this morning, real quick, I got up uh, really early. I got up at two a.m. this morning. Had a dog issue, but I thought this is great. I uh, put away the dishes, get everything clean. I got plenty of time, really relaxed. Yeah. Got four hours to get stuff organized. Got got a lot done. And I'm wearing these new, great new black shoes you got me. They're made of wool. They're called the Allbirds. Is Allbirds? Right? One word. Should we tell them they're blue? Are, are they blue? <laughs> yeah, they're dark blue. No, they're black. They're black. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't, Josh, please. Please, so, dear God. So I walk out the garage to get to my car, and there is a mound of white powder uh, do you know what this was? Is, were you asking if I had a big a pile of cocaine in the garage? Trafficking in cocaine, <laughs> no, I mean, it's, So all I can figure is because we have a really small kitchen, we've been we've kind of converted the part of the garage into a pantry. Sure. So after I went to bed, Kelly must have gone to the garage and dropped a ten pound bag of flour what, wow. all over the floor. Huh. So I had to back the car out and clean it all up, and I think my shoes that were once black after one day are. Now, now of, gray? Uh, a dusky gray. <laughs> well, yeah, but you just uh, I, you I swept them out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And so. yeah, probably a vacuum cleaner sucked that right off. There. So I guess we're okay. So I don't know what happened. but Suck off your shoes. That'd be great. Just suck it right off. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Trying to be super early ended up <laughs> with, a, with a chore. Nothing like doing that at 3 a.m. Yeah. A, Waiting for them. But then I saw a fox driving in. Oh, how about that? A little wow. baby fox. Are oh, you no text? No text for us? That's good luck. <laughs> fox on the run? Uh, no. you see uh, a fox well, uh, welcome luck? to the show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Let's say who's who here. Our engineer is Ace Cosby, the proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. The friends. One can find the crazycockwine.com sports desk right over there. That's where Chick is. So Ace and Chick and I are in the same room. Oh, and there's Josh. He's in here, too. Yeah. At the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair. And uh, let's just say that we are in the big room, socially distanced as, as a, a proper, I guess, these times. Willie's in the old Nuremberg room. Yep. Soon to be renamed. What did we decide we were going to go with? Big uh, Will's Fun Time Room. Uh, let's keep the Will's. Let's not get too confusing. Big Willie's Fun Time Room. Big Willie's Fun. Okay, no one likes it. I can tell that no one okay, likes well, that. We'll that was, that was almost a vacuum. Yeah. 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 Uh, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did a little better the other day. And again, I, I think Josh pointed this out. Uh, Christy's in the next room, and it's a fairly big room, but it's through a gigantic pane of glass, it, probably what, Two nine paint. feet by four feet. Yeah. And Christy's little head is just sort of sitting there on the bottom. <laughs> How'd you describe it before, Josh? It's like one of those giant aquariums with one fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a little tiny minnow. Like, one lonely fish. I have fish. my space. Yeah. I like it. And again, we need to emphasize this. Christy's head is tiny, but so is the rest of her body. She's so, proportional. She's proportional. Yes. Right. Nothing right. weird about it. Not it's Beetlejuice. Not... Okay. <laughs> Pat Godwin, his white shirt today. Thank you, Pat. Love that new song. Thank you. It was fun. That's, uh, that's, that's very nice. That white shirt does look good. And a nice, crisp white well, thank shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that one of mine? <laughs> no, it's not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Old Navy and splurged. All right. <laughs> 
Twenty-two dollars. <laughs> what did you uh, see this morning driving into work, Tom? A fox. Oh, here we go. Oh, the baby fox. Yeah. This is, here, this is the stuff. Yeah. Oh, listen to that '80s intro. Or is this the '70s? '70s. '70s. Yeah. yeah. Really. Listen to all that. Oh, that is truly awful. Oh, it's when this kicks in. Hi, hi. Wow. I love this. <laughs> Party's about to start. <laughs> Oh, is this the band where he goes, hey, see, see? It is? Or, uh, no, no, but. No. It sounds like Hey, That's Steve, poison. are you ready, Steve? Oh, okay. Oh, Andy. <laughs> okay. okay. We're not going to have time to get to the chorus. Thank you very much. <laughs> is that Fox that. on the Run? Is that what that was? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very much. Very nice. <laughs> uh, I had a request yesterday um, for a new pair of earbuds, so I'm recommending the Raycons. Everybody needs a great pair of wireless earbuds, especially in the world we live in now. And as I said yesterday, uh, states sort of one by one are coming around and banning the use of cell phones if you're holding them in your hand. Everyone listening to us are very fortunate right now because I went ahead and searched the world over for the perfect earbuds, <laughs> and I found them like two years ago. You know what? Thank you, Chick. They're the Raycon. Thank, yes, thank, thank you. you. Yes, Thanks the Raycon, the new ones, yep. the E25 earbuds from Raycon, and uh, they're about half the price of those other ones. Chick, elaborate for uh, me. They're at least half the price, and the newest model, the Everyday E25, best yet, six hours of playtime. You ever... You ever listen to Fox on the Run by Sweet and you're, you know, roller skating down by the oh, beach? Yeah. That's right. And you got your yeah. earbuds in. Oh, man. And then man. you're ready to do a spin and Cute impress shorts, that girl. Nothing better. And then your earbuds. Earbud These inline skates will never go out of fashion. <laughs> then you realize no one else can hear the music, so you just sort of look like a psychopath. And then the earbuds go out and you can hear them laughing at you. Well, Raycon's wireless earbuds are comfortable and six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact Design gives you a nice noise uh, isolating fit. Raycon earbuds, both stylish and discreet, with no dangling wires or stems. That's so 19 2000. The <laughs> wires. 19 2000. Snoop Dogg and I agree. <laughs> We're obsessed with the Raycons, and now's the time to see what all the hype is about. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's right. We got a deal for you. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Save 15%. Off Raycon wireless earbuds. And they're great for making phone calls, and uh, <clears throat> you don't want to get a ticket. That's exactly right. A friend of mine got pulled over. What? Uh, yeah, had a, uh, in California, had his phone like this. That's Next to his ear. Uh, can't, can't do, do that. that. Not Depends a lot where of you states are, but, now. Uh, get the Raycons. They're the best. Yeah. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming back with, in sports? Uh, we got a Major League Baseball deal, sort of, but they've decided to play the season, but they're going to argue for the entire season. Uh, the NHL might be getting together for some games. Yeah. They don't know where yet. Right. But right. they might working be on that. Caribbean. Together. That's what I said. <laughs> the, the NBA champions are in uh, Orlando ready to play some NBA basketball. Uh, let's hope some of this works, okay? Yeah, let's hope okay. Florida uh, Thank you up. very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we and have a world a, record. And binge watching in the news. And uh, Apple, do you know what a memoji is? Mm -mm. I didn't either. Huh. But there's, they're in the news. Okay. Okay, when we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, Mark Allison here with you on Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. Thanks so much for joining us. Kostaki Economopolis on the way. On top of calling the Bob and Tom Show, Kostaki hosting multiple streaming shows Fantasy Throwback on Wednesdays and 50 Toasts on Thursdays. Both streams can be found on Kostaki's Facebook page. Follow him at Funny Kostaki or go to Kostaki.com for more info. That's C-O-S-T-A-K-I, Kostaki.com for more information. Kostaki scheduled to join us in the 8 o'clock hour this morning Eastern Time on Bob and Tom 24-7. Stay tuned. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. PBS will still run its Independence Day special, a Capitol 4th, but only the fireworks will be live from the National Mall in Washington. Patti LaBelle, John Fogarty, Brantley Gilbert, and the Temptations will take performances without an audience from iconic places around the country. Other performers include Trace Adkins, Andy Grammer, Lauren Alania, and Yolanda Adams. The special also will feature highlights from past years. John Stamos and Vanessa Williams will be your hosts. 
Brad Paisley, along with Darius Rucker, John Party, and Nelly, will separately play the first set of drive-in concerts for Live Nation next month in Indianapolis, Nashville, and St. Louis. Each vehicle will have space for tailgating. Fans can bring their own food and drinks, but no grills. Brad Paisley says the concerts aren't about money, but staying sane. He calls it a total return to life in some weird way, and we're all going to have a really good time. And Willie Nelson and his sister Bobby Nelson have written a memoir together, Me and Sister Bobby, True Tales of the Family Band, tells the story of how the two stuck together after being abandoned by their parents as children. The Nelsons alternate chapters to give their own perspectives on the same events. The book will be out on September for 15th. They're also working on a children's picture book called Sister Brother Family, Our Childhood in Music, that will also be released in the fall. And that's your entertainment update. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom shows on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Yes. Grateful Dead are teaming up with North Coast Organics to announce an official Grateful Dead branded line of deodorants. Deodorant? <laughs> yes. So, is that just <laughs> yes. so, just that a show? Re- real quick, in case you were wondering if the 60s were over, <laughs> this makes it official. I thought for sure you were going to say marijuana. Nope. They don't have a grilled cheese scent. They should have um, <laughs> twirly uh, girl. bad marijuana and oh, patchouli. Twirly girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, they already had a deodorant, the Grateful Dead. If you remember, for a while there, oh. they had uh, Uncle John's band roll on. <laughs> <laughs> but, Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom. 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom 24-7. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Yeah. I was watching TV with my buddy Stevie when we saw the strangest thing. It was so compelling. A woman was selling maxi pads that had wings. I turned to channel three and what did I see? A woman who looked real rich She was living on the hill And pitching badger sill For the special feminine itch <laughs> I tried once more And I turned to channel four And I was shocked, I must confess A gal who was chunky Said when she's smelling funky She just squirts it with FDS <laughs> Well, it's on every station, it's plugging up the nation with feminine hygiene ads. Douches and ointments and OBG appointments, and don't forget your maxi pads, cause they have wings <laughs> to fly. <laughs> Let's give it a try, it's feminine hygiene. Well, a mama and a daughter walking by the water. Somebody don't feel fresh. <laughs> I'm honest at seven, put, put her back in heaven, cause the yeast really makes a mess. <laughs> Middle-aged debutant looking for a lubricant, I still can hear her voice. Her mama done told her when a woman gets older, the muffin downstairs don't stay moist. <laughs> Well, it's on every station and oversaturation of feminine hygiene days. Creams and lotions and all her emotions and all the water she retains. It's so insane, this game. There's too many names for feminine hygiene. Why do we have to... All right, sir. 622 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather. Brought to you by the Car X Man. Partly cloudy today. Stray shower, thunderstorm, high 78. <laughs> Clear tonight down to 60. Mainly sunny tomorrow. Still a threat of a thunderstorm and a high near 80, but less humidity. Currently 66. Thank you very much. I attempted to uh, figure out dew point again yesterday. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's, um, that's not going to happen. <laughs> don't understand it. How about the misery index? Give I, that I, a I, shot. Don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> something about temperature and the water. And, uh, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back Come to on. the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see now. Where are we? Oh, I know. It's uh, the 23rd of June, 2020. Hey, 2020, what a year, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Boy, I cannot wait to sing Old Lang Syne. 
I can await the sign off on this one, huh? <laughs> we have more joyful news coming up today. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> sure about what's happening in the Caribbean? I have not. Oh, it's great. Is it the. Uh, uh, can I answer? Is it the sandstorm? Yes, yes. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it, just, it is really on the way. It's on the wow. way. It's, it's on the way. It's like a 100 year event or something. We'll hear about that coming up. Chalky, milky air. Uh, Good yeah, luck, everybody. Yeah, okay, great. Oh, uh, yeah. just, just really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, uh, the room, get the tone, okay? <laughs> Read the room. When it rains, it pours. Okay, uh, we're sand, we're, apparently. Yeah, okay. we have, um, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. There's uh, Josh, uh, Chick, Ace Cosby, of course, our engineer. The man, the voice, the legend. <laughs> um, how many Kiss concerts have you been to? Around three hundred. Around three hundred. Well, that's is that is that celebrate. the most of any band? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. A chick a band you've seen the most live? Uh, I don't know. Probably Elton John. I would okay. Think. Okay. Yeah. Josh. Breaking Benjamin. Really? Yeah. Well, that's unusual. Okay. Christy Lee. Band you've seen the most in concert? Kiss, technically. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fair. A Willie Griswold. A band you've seen the most? Of? It might be a. DJ, Bass Nectar, and it might be John Mayer. Oh, oh John oh. Mayer, very good. I'm a big fan. I've seen John Mayer a bunch. Yeah, yeah me too. But yeah. I, I, who's what's the name? DJ Maker's Mark? Bass Nectar. What was he's, it? He DJ does, Maker's Mark. I didn't hear him. <laughs> no, Bass Nectar. He's. I used to. I used to live in Colorado and take ecstasy and go to concerts. So that's okay. There you go. There's Is DJ. That a guy, that's a guy standing up there with a computer pointing at the ceiling. And the oh yeah, okay, it's that's, that's if great. you do if you prepare right, it's a lot of fun. But okay. you got to prepare right. Okay, good. You got to time your. Yeah. Uh, Pat Godwin, the 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 concert uh, artist you've seen the most in concert. It's also Elton John. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, very good. Let's uh, move on. I don't know what we got on that topic. Thank you, Ace. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know asked. why we got on that topic. Josh, yeah. you want to take this one? I can't stand it. He asked us. Yeah, he, 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 he asked, asked everybody. everybody. Yeah. I mean, what, you ever, what was your answer? Uh, probably Little Feet. Oh, okay. Uh, with and without Lowell George, the great uh, great band. Gotcha. Uh, What's he doing nowadays? <laughs> Lowell George. <laughs> I hope he's in heaven trying to clog up your arteries somehow mm. with... Uh, well, oh, no, wait. Oh. The previously deceased don't have any any role in what, how, well, how we lived. No, they primarily just watched. They look down on you as you masturbate. That is... Uh, oh, my goodness. And they walk over to Jesus uh, and go, I'm sorry. That's incredibly hurtful and direct. And, uh, wow. Uh, hey, let's get on with sports, shall we? No, but for those of you new to the show, we should explain. Chicks just had a heart procedure. And I am Iron Man. A I've stent a, put eight, in. Eight stents, eight baby. Eight stents inside those arteries and you're getting another you're getting the ninth aren't you i'm getting the ninth here in uh, three or four happen? weeks yeah i gotta go friday for the appointment to, and for this one they're going to talk about it they're going in your wrist mm -hmm. not in your which evidently is shorter and easier and um, wow no recovery time i come home same day whoa oh good okay good bingo can you imagine no. telling that to <laughs> benjamin franklin <laughs> Yeah, we're going to pretty much enter his heart, and it'll take about two hours, and he's well, going Well, being home. the president of the United States, he'd have the finest medical care. <laughs> well, sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> dear dumbasses, <laughs> Benjamin oh, Franklin. I, you, I, we haven't got that yet. If, you, if you'd like to write us a dear dumbass letter, uh, how do you do that, Josh? Oh, my gosh. Find us. Uh, get the Bob and Tom app. What are you doing? And then you can contact us through that. Also, you can email us at Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom dot com. But my favorite is for you to text us at 888-262-8661 because I get 69 cents per text that comes in. Yeah, of course, um, Josh gets nothing. Don't tell him that. Um, my lawyer will be. Oh, well, here's a great letter we got. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, people sometimes listen to the show in unusual places. Uh, here's a guy. Like their butt? <laughs> yeah, is it in the butt, Tom? In the butt. Bob. That makes no sense. It's the old dating game thing, yeah. or the newlywed game. Newlywed. Newly the most exotic yeah. place you ever made love. Yeah. Right, right. Hey, hey, if we if one of the rules start to be we got to make sense, we're, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's, we're in big no, trouble. No. Where do you listen to the show? In the butt. <laughs> Is that in unusual places? What's the difference between in the butt and in the trunk? Yeah. <laughs> Well, when you say the Bob and Tom show is in the trunk, it means that you're uh, well, to broadcasting he, the show through he some fancies substantial himself speakers. An ex expert now. <laughs> listen to him. Yeah. Okay, I want to say a special hi to Randy. He uh, uh, yesterday, I guess, was listening to the show somewhere uh, over Illinois in a uh, classic airplane. Yeah, how cool was that? He sent pictures, these pictures and everything. Yeah. I hope he posted these. He just, by the way, replaced the metal propeller with a wooden one custom made in the UK. Wow. Um, he, he's, you wouldn't want to hear crack. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want to. See yeah. splinters flying. Uh oh, more Elmers. <laughs> what? Did you use the did you use the marine grade glue? It's raining out there. 
He I'm said, sorry. I have a Bluetooth aviation headset and listen to the show while flying my 1946 Stinson aircraft this morning. Cool. Stinson, eh? Hey? That's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's some pictures of this vintage plane. Uh, I'm cool with vintage planes in museums. You don't I, want to get on one. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'd be a little, a little scared. A lot of it, a lot of pilots say the new planes are the ones you don't want to get on. You want to get on the tried and true thirty year old. Okay, yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd go manufactured <laughs> yeah. planes, manufactured mm -hmm. planes, vintage yeah. planes, build it yourself planes. <laughs> <laughs> way yeah, down, build way, it yourself or way or, down oh. at the bottom. Yeah. It was experimental. But anyway, very cool. Listing um, while flying a classic aircraft. Very can good. Thanks you buy, so much for the uh, Can't you get a, uh, like a seat and a fan and uh, some sort of aircraft like that? Yes, you and, can. And I, we had a guy it, in, right? yeah. when I was growing up, there was a guy in my neighborhood who was building his own helicopter. Yeah, sort of oh. kind of like a helicopter, but the fan's in back of you. Right. And you, you fly now, like that. That differs, plane, that differs Randy. from those airboats. We were talking about those airboats yeah. because I did not know. Oh, that's right. We found out some interesting information. I did not know that uh, on on Josh's bucket list was going down to the Everglades yes. and uh, riding in one of those airboats. Cool. And you did that, Christy? Yes, I did it in January. It was awesome. Yeah, oh, okay. it was very, very fun. I really want to. Willie, will you go with me? No, I, I, I don't really like airboats. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Points to the camera. The home run it's, king. It's such a Willie bad Mays. joke, and we just keep <laughs> called a shot. There's a fine line, Wilbur, between you doing it, then you doing it, then you doing it too much, and then too much turns into just enough, and then it gets funny again. That's right. Yes, that's it's, what we do. We call that the, the Letterman show. rule. Yes, we call that the Letterman. It's the Hello right. Dare rule. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, there was a TV show about the, those airboats when I was a little kid. Do Doc Tari? No. I don't know what it was called. What was they it were, called? They were zooming around General, the Everglades. General Ben had a General Ben crimes. had one? A fan boat, I think those are called. Uh, Always love them when they They're appear loud. in movies and stuff. Yeah, in any event, we'll, uh, we'll move forward here. So that's cool. If you're listening to the show in some exotic place, I know we've got our buddy who always listens from his crane. Yeah. Uh, He's got a pet crane? No, 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 no. He's got a... <laughs> He writes around on I his hand I don't know about crane. you guys, but I'm having a great time. Here. Okay? You guys can jump in if you want. It didn't, didn't make sense. Okay, I got this for you. This comes to us from, Lin, uh, from Linda. Hi, Linda. She writes, good morning, comma, how about ya? How yeah, about ya? Yeah. Yeah. Linda knows. Welcome, Linda. She goes, I want to thank you. Oh, this is funny. She goes, I want to thank you for suggesting the Raycon earbuds. Oh. oh. They're coming in handy. I'll be at my cousin's wedding. And I have to share a hotel room with my aunt, oh. who snores louder than a freight train. Oh, no. I'll be listening to something to make me relax. Well, thank you very much. Um, and the Raycon earbuds, we were just talking about those guys. And maybe, Linda, you won't have to share your room with oh, your Oh, maybe you'll get lucky at the yeah, reception. So you huh? never know what will yeah. happen at the real old reception. Everybody gets laid. Where were you wedding. last night? Oh, yeah. Well, somebody, that that's what I call intimacy. <laughs> What? what? Oh <laughs> no, I'm with you, Pat. What? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, I'm not sure what perspective that was from. <laughs> That's my aunt. Oh, okay. Did you ever meet the she aunt? She never what? called aunt, it sex. Aunt. She called it intimacy. No. Uh, oh. What? One time, um, <laughs> we were walking down the beach oh God. at Seven Mile Point. I was about, I don't know, 15 or something. Oh and my goodness. We were walking down the beach, and it's this beautiful beach, and the, the pine trees coming right down to the beach, and... There's sort of some beach grass there, and there's no one there. This area is really deserted. <laughs> you are really Can setting up the picture here. There's so a lot of down imagery. the beach. Can you imagine the, the sardonic, wise-ass that 15-year-old Tom Griswold was? <laughs> and <laughs> and we, we look to the right, and there is one of our neighbors, a flagrant delecto. Uh -huh. just, really? Just getting drilled. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding? Yes. Just getting oh, drilled. I, I, I can't use any names. Amazing. And you're walking with your aunt. Yes. And my aunt goes, I will, as long as I live, I can remember everything about this. I could take you to that place right now. Um, and uh, she goes, well, that's what I call intimacy. <laughs> now, you'll notice on this show, uh, in fact, I did a correction this morning. There's yes. A, I often will use that. There's a new story coming up where I change the wording to intimate oral activities wow. mm -hmm. involving um, uh, the release of the kosher lube. Yeah. Okay. Coming up in the news. So if you're of the Jewish faith, hang in there. You got, guess what's coming? That's what I call intimacy. Well, she's getting intimacy to her, 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 let's see, she's getting her brains intimacy out. That's what I'm going nice. for, yeah. Well, Anslo had quite the uh, imprint on you, didn't yeah. she? And I know, I mean, I know, I know this woman. Oh. oh, you knew the woman? Oh, absolutely. I still do. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, do I know this woman? 
Um, you uh, you know her brother. Cool, Good. I figured it out. That's Does she fun. know that you saw them? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Well, let's call her up. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, was I'm, it with her husband or with somebody else? Oh no 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 no! Oh. A, ra- a rando I on the beach. I, 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 Christy, rando. Christy, I'm gonna, Christy, I'm gonna do something right now. Huh. Just take me a second. I'm gonna write a number down. Oh! And when I write this number down, you're gonna realize why I'm not expanding on the story. Oh, it's number sixty-nine. Oh! It's better than that, Willie. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus, really? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Just getting hammered, huh? Oh. Wow. wow. Oh, man. Good for her. Going to Pound Town, Joshy. <laughs> <laughs> Hope she had on sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least on her feet. <laughs> <laughs> the bottoms of her feet. That's what I call intimacy. <laughs> Poor Anthony. All answer. right. Do you think Aunt Flo was ever intimate with anyone? I. That's a tough question. I like think, a Big I Mac think, I, I think in, in the refrigerator. I think not. <laughs> Yeah, Is there that you go. The joke? Um, <laughs> well, so far so good. Uh, hey, we got to make a stop at Twitter real quick. Our buddy Andy Kindler, yes, and Cr- Christy liked this tweet as well. It's amazing. It's Andy as a kid at YMCA oh. summer camp, <laughs> and by gosh, you can pick him out of this. It's like when, oh, immediately when yeah. he was a kid, you can pick him out. There man. he is on the left, right next to the counselor. It's time to follow <laughs> at Andy Andy Kindler on Twitter. Man, that's I great. saw this. It's great. What a that's great! A, I tell you, what's amazing about that is the uh, ethnic diversity. I was going to say the photograph. exact same thing. Yeah. Very diverse. Yeah, this looks like a YMCA brochure. Yeah, a Benetton ad. Yeah, they must have. Uh, hmm scoured the camp to get... Uh, you think they grabbed Andy and said, oh, come on over here, you're Jewish, let's go. Let's see now. Yeah. We got uh, we got your, we got uh, one of those, one of these, one of those. I mean, look at that. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. One of those, one of these, one of those. That's exactly yeah, we, what your dad just said. That's how you try to that. He was playing, he was playing a character. I'm playing a character. How many times? <laughs> God. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Archie Bunker and uh, the gentleman who played him, Carol O'Connor, Different people. <laughs> we have to tell you every time. Willie's of that age where, yes, you do. It's getting harder and harder. <laughs> oh, my God. And pretty soon in movies, they're going to have to have a, any character is going to have to have like a special circle around him at all times. Oh, that's acting. He doesn't really feel that way. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, um, got some more letters. If you want to reach us once again, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. We would love to hear from you. Uh, but uh, I guess we can touch our toes into the world of uh, sports. If you got something now, to do once again, I'm fuzzy on this as I am on most things. So, good luck, everybody. Here's what happened: Major League Baseball unilaterally issued a 60-game schedule for its shortest season since 1878. Now, unilaterally means what? Uh, the, without without the cooperation of the players. Exactly. Okay. So, but or, the players or, have or, agreed to play. Or who thought? Or Dag Hammarskjöld. It'll be the shortest season since 1878 after the Players Association rejected a negotiating deal, a negotiated deal of the same length, putting the sport on track for a combative and possibly unhappy return to the field amid the uh, pandemic. Six days after baseball commissioner Rob Manfred and his sidekick, Tom (laughs) Terrific, and union chief Tony Clark negotiated to expand the playoffs from 10 to 16 teams, widen use of the DH to the National League and introduce an experiment to start extra innings with a runner on second base. You what? heard me. An what? experiment to start extra innings with a runner on second base. Boo. The deal, This all of these, all of those uh, items were rejected no, by the when union. They, when, okay. they have, when they have but to we're go gonna, extra They're going to try and play. In extra innings, are they going to um, play T-ball or are they going to let them pitch? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> See, that's a problem when you get into these, well, let's do this. And if they sound really strange, people aren't going to. Uh, that's not right. And it's baseball. Just play baseball. Yeah, the DH. Exactly. It's a joke. pretty good the game. The DH is just done for commercial Why purposes. can't we just leave things alone? If you're going to have a shortened season, just have a shortened season. Yes. That's it. Everything yes. else is the same. And there's going to be asterisks as far as the eye can oh, see. Okay. So and, good and luck, everybody. They may not be able to get it in the way things are going, so. They got open training oh, camp. Part of me July, hopes they don't. July sixth, they got open. Um, yeah, this it's, it's times so are wasted. You want to open them tomorrow? World Series. Didn't they have to close them all up over the weekend though? 
Well, yeah, they had to rearrange everything in uh, Florida okay. because there's a, there's a problem. All right, we'll get uh, to some uh, more fun sports coming up. I hope so. David Rush in the news with yet another uh, world record. I know. Oh, come on. I know. Uh, and we do have kosher lube in the news and an update on the uh, Grateful Dead. Got some in the, some interesting yeah. odd Grateful blah, Dead news. Blah, 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 blah. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> How about this one? You gotta love this song. Blah, 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 blah. Driving that train. Uh, it Casey goes up, Jones. And then it goes down. Okay, thank and you. And then it goes up. Uh, and then uh, it goes right now, um, I want you to put yourself on a sunny beach. Now, you give me some crazy cock wine and put on some dead. I'm with you. Okay. Yeah. Kayaking yeah. on the lake, hiking the trail. Yep. That's from Crazy Cock Wine, where it comes in handy because it's in the can. It's our favorite premium wine. Crazy Cock Can Wine offers a dry rose, a dry white, a dry red. And for those who like bubbles, Crazy Cock makes a sparkling white and sparkling rosé perfect for those warm summer days. Summer loving had me a crazy Blast. cock. Oh. It's made by the Gibson <laughs> Wine Company. You know, if you're going to talk about it, could you just call it crazy cock wine or maybe CCW? Gibson Wine Company has been making quality wine in their California vineyards for 80 years. Originally, they designed uh, crazy cock for South Carolina college football fans, Gamecock fans, but... Since it was so crazy good, they decided to make it for everyone. And now we bring it to you. So ask your retailer to carry Crazy Cock Wine. Great wines to be enjoyed anywhere you go. Convenient, recyclable, fit in any cooler, easily backpacks, and can be taken to the park or beach. Look for Crazy Cock cans at a market near you. And if you can't find it in the store, what do you got there on the bottom of the Crazy Cock? Oh, every can says, get y'all crazy on. Get y'all crazy on with crazycockwine.com. Make an order online if you can't find it at your ret retailer, but then at the retailer, tell them the Bob and Tom Show says stock some crazy cock wine. Leave your glass and wine opener at home and get some crazy cock wine. That's crazycockwine.com. Thank you very much. Coming up, we've got uh, apples, operas, kosher lubes, orgies, and uh, the Grateful Dead. All happening this the morning. world record. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. More Bob and Tom next. Got a comment? Our email is bobandtom at bobandtom.com. Hi, this is Bob. And this is Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Kostaki Economopolis, the biggest name in comedy on the way on a Tuesday right here on Bob and Tom 24-7, June 23rd, 2020. Good morning. I'm Mark Allison. Thanks so much for joining us. Keep in mind, every dollar spent at BobandTomStore.com for the foreseeable future goes directly to Feeding America. That's an organization that helps to restock food pantries and food kitchens across America. They know where the needs are and where the food needs to go to, so they take care of all of that so that folks who are less fortunate have a chance to have a meal, a hot meal at that. So help Feeding America by going to the Bob and Tom store today, bobandtomstore.com. Any hat, T-shirt, sweatshirt, anything at all you purchase, all proceeds go directly to Feeding America or donate directly to Feeding America if you'd like. Thanks so much for joining us and helping America at this troubling time. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. More yucks and fun on the way. From the crazycockwine.com sports desk, I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom sports update. Major League Baseball plans to unilaterally issue a 60-game schedule for its shortest season since 1878 after the Players Association rejected a negotiated deal of the same length, putting the sport on track for a combative and possibly unhappy return to the field amid the virus pandemic. Six days after baseball commissioner Rob Manfred 
And Union Chief Tony Clark negotiated to expand the playoffs from 10 teams to 16, widen use of the DH to National League games, and introduce an experiment to start extra innings with a runner on second base. The deal was rejected by the Union. The Toronto Raptors arrived in southwest Florida yesterday, set to begin their preparations for next month's restart of the NBA season. If the Raptors return to the NBA Finals, they could be in Florida for nearly four full months. And Brooks Kepka goes for a historic three-peat in the PGA Championship. There won't be anyone at Harding Park to cheer him on. The PGA of America confirms the first major of the Unusual golf virus year won't have spectators. The PGA Championship scheduled for August 6 through 9 in San Francisco. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. She comes in, sits down next to me, and she's bawling her eyes out. Oh. She's like, because I'm fat. I'm like, you ain't that fat. She's like, yes, I am. That's right. I told her I've been with a ton of fat chicks before. It's really a big deal. Uh-huh. Yeah, did that help? So for the last seven hours, she'd been barricaded in that bathroom with a box of white zen and a half-gallon chunky monkey. Mm. The only positive is I ain't got to worry about her pulling an Epstein in there because that old shower curtain will never hold her with all this extra weight she's put on last morning. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Ancient philosophy was framed by prodigies. Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates. And even though their thoughts were deemed the aristocratic voice, they also had a thing for little boys. (laughs) Catherine the Great, so it's been said, needed large animals to be fulfilled in bed from historic rulers. To the ancient Greeks, we're standing on the shoulders of freaks. <laughs> Isn't life pretty, Ernest Hemingway once said? And then he put a bullet through his head. Salvador Dali's surreal paintings were godsend. You'd never know he ate his own excrement. (laughs) That's a great one during breakfast (laughs) hour. Then there's Da Vinci, for whom it required dressing in women's underwear to be inspired (laughs) from the great romantics to the ancient Greeks. We're standing on the shoulders of freaks. (laughs) Hello, you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. This has been Chick McGee speaking. It's time once again for people who suck at small talk. (laughs) Hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? Yeah, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f***ing asked. <laughs> Join us. 646 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. A quick forecast update from Christy Lee. Q95, Fox 59 weather. Rain's moving out. Partly cloudy. Look for a high of 78. Oh. Thank you very much, Christy. Huh. Oh. Brief to the point. Are you? Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. If everybody just keep it real brief. Can we keep it real brief sure. the rest of the morning so Tom you can talk I'm more? Not no, I'm, I'm not saying anything. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> As he found talking. ourselves once again on the uh, 23rd of June. You can take it. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Ace Cosby's here at the uh, Omaha Steaks joke of the day. No, it's not it, is it? Oh, Omaha Steaks. I'll take over. See, yeah, that's sorry. Why sorry. Uh, there's a chick. Josh is over there at the Orange Chair uh, Sports Desk. No, that's, no, that's, that's, that's the OrangeInsoles.com right. sidekick chair. That's right. Speaking of things you'd like to kick, Chick McGee is at the CrazyCockWine.com Sports Desk. 
Christie's leaving Willie Griswold, us comedian, Chicago-based. Uh, Christie, Christie Lee leaving us for sleeping soon. in his sister's room. You see what you've done? <laughs> Go to the Navy. Oh. Oh, I'm going to the Navy. Oh. She's at the Navy Federal Credit Union News they desk. They take me. I'm too old. Thank you very much. I'm sure ten thousand sailors would. Yeah, they'd be happy. Sorry. Oh, let's yeah, There's Pat Godwin in the white shirt. Hey, Pat. Hello, uh, Pat. You know, I uh, as much as I hate to interrupt sports, uh, uh, Pat. Uh, we I, have, I didn't. Uh, I didn't buy that. Yeah, I don't think you meant it. Uh, we kind of touched on this earlier. We missed. I think yesterday it was yesterday. Chris Christopherson's birthday. I don't know. We ran out of time. Yeah, I mean, really where's my file birthdays? that says who gives them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah. Wow. wow. Why me, Lord? I'm sure. What Chris, in the world on your birthday, have? probably had a piece of cake in your honor. May, I, oh, I would love that. I honestly, I think he's one of the coolest dudes. Have you ever heard the, uh, <laughs> the peppy why me, Lord? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Star is born? Is that one. what was wow. in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, Chris Christopherson at his peak had to have a Silkwood shower every day just to get the smell off. You know what <laughs> Watch I'm about? closer sure. now. Yeah, he okay. was. Oh, that was bad. Are you watching so, me now? Um, he played in the what, was the, what is that, the third or fourth version of A Star It was the Born. second one, I wasn't it? was the it? second one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I don't know. Um, with uh, with uh, Barbara Streisand. Correct. Yeah. With the hideous hair in that one, really yeah. frizzy. Yeah, well, that, that does not that does not date well. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. evergreen. Yeah, oh, correct. nice, Pat. <laughs> it would have looked better big, green. I had big. I had a big problem with that song. Love soft as an easy chair. What? What's oh. wrong with that? I don't like it. It's comfortable. I don't like it. Wraps around you. Has a stick on it. You can pull back and kick, you kick your feet up. Uh, <laughs> Engage yeah. in some intimacy. Yes. Smells like butt juice. <laughs> <laughs> butt juice. <laughs> so I take it you're against recliners. Yeah. Is that right? I, I don't have one. He doesn't. Have, he's not allowed. Remember? No, I don't have one. I've, I've never. I've never had a recliner. I'm not a fan. How do you sit and watch TV? He doesn't. I don't. In fact, I just got a lecture the other day about watching television. The only time I've watched television <laughs> in my house is while lying in bed and then falling asleep 10 minutes into every show. Um, and that was the third Star is Born. Oh, the third? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so no the, the most recent was the, the 37, fourth. 54, seven, and that was the 76. Oh, okay. That was the third. Wow. Third. Yes. Wow. I, wasn't, I don't think that. anybody's seen the Frederick March. Wasn't James Mason in one of them? That was the second, right? 54, right? Yeah. James Mason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Captain Nemo. Yes. Uh, uh, oh, that's not, dead oh, Pat, do you have a uh, tribute to this? Well, his biggest song probably was Me and Bobby McGee that he wrote. Of course, Janis Joplin made it a hit. Let's do a tribute since it was his birthday All yesterday. Right. Here we right. Chris, by the way, born in 1936. Wow. Based out in St. Louis, waiting for a break. Josh found one with a show called Bob and Tom. Oh. Huh. He bonded with a sidekick. Funny dude named Chick. They had a friendship that could be a great rom com. Uh, oh. They'd crack wise on the radio, have lunch after the show, see a movie, grab a drink, then head on home. Jump in the car, look at the time, turn up the tunes, Ryan Adams is fine. They sang every song Bob Schneider knew. <laughs> <laughs> Romance is just another word for two dudes having fun right. As long as no girls come in between <laughs> And Chick can have his redskins And Josh can love his blues So oh, they're saying bye to Tom at 1015 <laughs> Cause that's good enough for Josh and Chicky McGee yeah. La 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 hey, la you, la la how about you? <laughs> how about you? Very nice. That was beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. a tribute to my friends. Oh, oh so how nice. Aww. Beautiful. All right. Um, <laughs> also yesterday, Marilyn Raskob's birthday. Oh, boy. Yes, I spoke with her yesterday. She said thank you for acknowledging us. Oh, that's wonderful. Most yeah. famous, I think, for uh, the, the television series 24. Right. right. Where she was staring into the computer. I'm not speaking yeah. to her. Why not? Uh, until she gets rid of that weird cat. She has one of those really, like, what's that called? A sh I don't that know. That thing's cool. or something? It's I don't know. It's about uh, the so that... size of a small golden retriever. Yeah, yeah. I it's love that like, thing. Looks like an ocelot. Oh, yeah. I've seen those. They're cool. Speaking uh -huh. of that, did you see the thing about cats? Fellas? About cats. I did see that. A yeah. survey oh. found, we'll get to it later, but a yeah. survey found that um, on the dating the dating.